Welcome to another random ass tutorial video today, or rather tonight for me at least. I'm going to show you that a little bit of the settings of Streamlabs OBS because that's definitely better than the standard OBS that you all know with the, the icon with the black circle and stuff. For quite some time I used, uh, what is it called, uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. I mean, sure, it's fine. It worked for a couple of months, you know, quality audio, all good, all fine. Only problem is at some point, you know, it just like randomly stopped recording. And the other OBS problem, if you can remember, my most successful video yet on the channel is the OBS stopping recording fix, you know, like 80% success chance on that video. But with this program, you should never have any problem. So you just use this borderline red yellow thing should be there from the standard I think display capture you gotta choose for yourself if you want to use game or display capture uh, I use display capture and have no problems yet so far so what we are gonna do is we quickly will go over the settings and then over the speaker and then over the microphone without any weird stuff in between I'm just gonna show you what I have gonna scroll down you can pause the video if you want to be specific about some stuff Okay, that's the general settings. Then we got stream settings. I don't really care because I'm not streaming. I'm YouTube doing YouTube's stuff. Uh, output. Uh, right now I have output mode simple. The bitrate is 2500. Uh, the encoder is software x264. Bit audio bitrate 160. Recording. That's just a pass on my videos go. Recording quality recording quality is high quality medium file size. I can't show you that right now because I'm actually literally recording as you can see in the background um, But I have high quality Medium size and if I go for example over my Skyrim video here as you can see the video is one hour and nine minutes It's 1080p. I think because I don't really want to record in 2k. I mean it would be nice but it's more strain on the computer and not everybody has a 2K monitor yet. But as you can see, 1 hour 10 is literally 3.15 gigabytes. That's good. Back in the day, my videos that were 1 hour were like 15 gigabytes. Even though I have a good upload rate, 3.5 gigabyte. 3.15 gigabyte is way enough. Also, for in terms of storage, you know. Not like Call of Duty, you know, with 250 fucking gigs. Anyway, we got recording format, MP4 is fine. Uh, we already told the encoder, that's two, six, four. Uh, replay buffer, nothing too special. So this is very important here. Audio is 48 kilohertz and channels is stereo. And now there is a thing here that you, you may have a, yeah, like a problem like when you Streamlabs OBS updates, right? Something that can happen is that your speakers and your microphone go gray out. And you try to record and you're like, what the fuck? Why is nothing picking up, you know? Like, why is my mic not working? Why is my speaker not working? It's basically just you have to reapply your desktop audio device 1 to your speaker and your mic auxiliary device 1 to your microphone. Then, bam, everything works again. I had that problem earlier. I was scared as shit but because I didn't know. So I did some Googling because I'm a professional Googler, you know? All, every time I have a problem... I can immediately um, fix it. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what you do to fix that. Uh, video, as you can see, base output 1080p, nothing special here. Common FPS values 30, B cubic sharpened scaling 16. If I ever change anything here, you know, like I let you guys know, of course. Hotkeys, I have nothing too specific in you here. I mean, I have F2. I'm actually going to delete this because I know some games that use F2. Um, specifically, I have something on my phone. If you want to, if do you want that, uh, there is something on your phone. If you have Android, it's literally called. Um, oh God, what is it called here? I can't see the app. I have to manually reconnect that thing. But it's something Streamlabs. I think it's Streamlabs dashboard or something. I can't really read it here. Streamlabs. Just type in Streamlabs in your Android store. All right. 
And it should be the icon is green, and there is like a little white, um, like a what do you call that in English? I have no idea, but it's a it's a green icon that's holding a thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, then we have is here something. No, this is only basically hotkeys. I have no hotkeys set up. Because, as I told you, I use this like dashboard thing for my phone and then I manually press start recording, stop recording. But you can also change scenes and all that stuff over your phone. So you don't have to fiddle with Streamlabs OBS on a second monitor or something. Scene collections I don't use. Notifications I have normally turned them off. But it doesn't matter because you're recording, you're not doing YouTube. Appearance, of course, night team, you know, because I hate white, the white stuff. What I'm actually doing is the, um, what is it called, the remote control, right? I mean, you can't see it right now and you can't use it, but you can use Streamlabs OBS from your phone, right? The Streamlabs mobile app. And that's basically lets you connect your phone. I'm going to do that right after the stream. I'm going to connect it because this one updated. I probably apparently need to relink it. Um, so nothing here, overlay. So now it's the important stuff, all right. So we got our speakers here. I just adjusted it a little bit. So when I'm doing stuff like this, wait a second. See that? It's not uh, going directly into the red circle. I don't have any filter here, but now the best part comes, the microphone, all right. The microphone has four filters, all right. So without further doing like what anything does, because I'm just a normal person, just like you and me. I'm nothing special. The method is called speak slower CPU usage. That's what we have. Suppression level for me is minus 27. The noise gate, closed threshold, open threshold, minus 37, minus 32. Attack time, 25. Hold time, 200. Release time, 150. Compressor ratio is 3. Threshold is minus 22.9. Attack 1, release 1, output gain 0. Sidechain, ducking source, none. And the gain, I can tell you what that is. The gain is basically, when you talk, it makes you louder. Um, I have specifically a mixer that has... I think it has a little bit specific settings right now, but I'm not good like with mixers and shit. You know, I just got it because I think it was cheap or some shit. But... Um, Basically, this makes you louder, all right? And if anything here is like weird, like when you check your microphone, like does it sound good? Does it sound bad? Or if you speak and suddenly your voice goes away, that's probably this here, the attack and hold stuff. So this is basically what you need. Just do it like I have it. Check your microphone, you know, like do a test recording, like do it like, hey, hey, check, check, one, two. And speak some longer sentences uh, sentences see if it works if it works well you're already done and you're ready to do YouTube stuff I guess um, if it doesn't work I mean the video is still here you can always come back and recheck the values just slide a little bit around with the stuff you know make some more test videos and at some point you're gonna find the sweet spot that's actually working for your microphone uh, but yeah this is basically the easiest, most non-complicated way to start streaming or recording YouTube, I guess. Of course, you can also do streaming with this. Then you just connect to your Twitch. And you can basically, this is no joke, you can basically use the same stuff uh, for streaming. I think the only thing that changes, you got to link yourself to Twitch, of course. Not sure if you actually need Prime for that. I don't think so. But you can link, uh, and instead of pressing recording, I guess you just go live, you know, put in your stream key, and then you're live. Uh, what I have shut off right now, what you don't see is you can have, like, notifications here, you know, like, who has recently subscribed, all that stuff. And what the Prime feature does, I don't know. I'm not sure if they mean Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, is there a Streamlabs OBS Prime? I don't know. There's some themes over here. There's like an alert box library. I guess that's for alerts when you stream. 
for doing YouTube, I just guess. But yeah, I hope this helped you. We just reached 10 minutes, that's perfect. If you have any questions, I will 100% answer you in the YouTube, like, you know, the comment section. <laughs> Um, I'm probably I can't answer you very specific things, but I'm gonna give it my best So if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me doesn't matter like how do I do my first video or what should I do? What should I not do? All right um, But yeah, thanks for watching feel free to subscribe that would be pretty nice especially on these tutorial videos all right because Every so often I got a great idea and it helps people <laughs> But yeah, feel free to check out my recent Skyrim videos. I'm playing Skyrim Special Edition with 800 mods and I have a full Western 3 playthrough on my channel. And soon we're gonna do Cyberpunk if it doesn't fuck my computer when I'm recording and playing at the same time. Anyway, thanks for watching and I see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.